Now, for Great Bay Temple. First of all, put on our Zora mask and roll into the door, sure, because why not? And then what we need to do is go back here to this turnkey here in the very back. Now, what we need to do is we need to pay attention to that elevator there in the back. And once it starts going up, pull this guy back. The reason we want to wait there is because we need to time the, the cycle for this little water jet that we're activating here. And as long as we wait for that elevator to go up, we'll time the we'll be timing it correctly. And you'll see what I mean in here in just a second. Come back up here. Wait for the elevator, jump down. And as long as we time this correctly, the, the water jet will be down at this point. If you don't time it correctly, what might happen is that it'll, it'll be up when you get to right there and you'll have to wait. But as long as you wait for that elevator before you turn, push the pull the turn key, uh, like I just did, wait for the elevator to go back up, and you'll have it timed correctly. Come in here, and then we can jump down into the water, and then go right here. A big thing about this about this dungeon is getting used to Zora movement. Uh, most likely, what's going to happen when you're first starting is that you're going to bonk everywhere. That's that's just something that's going to happen pretty much until you get used to it. Uh, uh, I I did it. It happened to me when I first started. So don't be too discouraged if you're really bad at Zora movement and you start bonking everywhere. Uh, you need to come back to this room here, and then kill this guy with the Zora Barrier, grab our small key. And then we can get back up out of the water like so. And there's some parts in there if you need them. And then come down here to this very bottom exit. This is where our mini boss for the Ice Arrows is going to be. Climb up the little pipe. And roll the door. These pots have some uh, bombs and some hearts and stuff in them. You want to grab those as well. Ideally, you want to have as many bombs as, you, as possible. Take off Zora and then pull out your bow. Now, ideally, you would have some nuts here. Uh, we don't have any nuts because we needed to play Song of Time earlier. Uh, and so we lost uh, the only nuts we had. Uh, we had to use the tin we had we got from Woodfall 2 in order to uh, for the well uh, but hopeful but ideally you would only have you would have uh, 20 in total you can get 10 from Mountain Village and then 10 from Woodfall 2 and you would have 10 at this point uh, but since we don't have any right now uh, we're just gonna have to use bombs and arrows So what we need to do is we need to wait a little bit before uh, Wart actually a, uh, becomes vulnerable. You have to wait for him to, put, to open his eye before he can do before he can actually damage him with a bomb here. So what I did there was I walked around the arena, smashed those two pots, and then right after the uh, I smashed the second set of pots. It's just about when he pulls out his uh, when he opens his eye for the first time. You can use the music as a cue as well. Uh, I just prefer the pots. Uh, and the next two, you just kind of have to get a muscle memory feel for when he opens your eye again. What you'll want to do is you'll want to drop some bombs as you're walking around, because the bombs will actually destroy the, um, the bubbles. Like this. And just hit him with bombs, like so. Drop some more bombs, drop some more bombs. You can also use quick spins to kill these guys. You don't need to kill all the bubbles to finish the fight, but uh, just getting rid of them helps a lot. Because ideally you want to shoot arrows at him, uh, and uh, these bubbles will get will uh, get in your way if you try to shoot a arrows like that. Because you're trying to aim, and you get hit by a bubble, you'll uh, get uh, messed up. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. And then once all the bubbles are dead, uh, you have to wait for him to open his eye, and then shoot him like so. And then once he opens his eye, you can shoot him in the eye that. There we go. Perfect. That was a little bit slow, but it worked. Now, if you have Deku Nuts, uh, Deku Nuts are very, very useful against the uh, bubbles, but again, we didn't have any. 
I did, but I did want to make a note that those are very useful there if you do have them at this point. We get our ice arrows! Yay! And once we get our ice arrows, we can come back out here and fill up on health. And then pull out your ice arrows and your hook shot coming up ahead because we'll be needing both of those. Jump down here. Go over here. And then we need to pull this turnkey. So uh, pull out your ice arrows and freeze this guy. And we can jump up here. Jump. And then pull this guy. Now we need to go revisit a couple of rooms. Uh, we, there's a few couple rooms that we kind of just went through and didn't really do much in. We need to go straight up to this guy. I uh, know that's that's kind of hard to get all the way up there, so you might have to go all the way around like this. And then we want to go up here. Hopefully you can dolphin dive up onto this platform here. Now if you miss, what you can do instead is something called the Zora High Grab. So what you want to do is you get right here next to the platform, turn around, and then do this. Uh, the reason this, this works is because Zora Link is taller than Human Link. So as long as you're at the surface of the water as Human Link when you turn around like so, you'll grab the ledge. Now something I, need, I do need to preface is that this is actually a little different between English and Japanese. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the Japanese version, every time you put on or take off a mask, Link will turn towards the camera. On the English version, he'll always stay facing towards the direction he was. So, if you're on English and you're trying to do this, you'll want to... Uh, this will work no matter where, where you are. But on Japanese, he turned t towards the camera, so that, like, in that, that situation, it would not work. You have to make sure the camera is facing this way first, and then you can do this. But whichever way you get up here, uh, you should switch to Human Link and then shoot an Ice Arrow right there. And then just jump up here. Put on the Zora Mask. Or actually, no, you don't want to put on the Zora Mask. You want to freeze this guy. And then you can push him all the way up here. Like so. And then climb him and push the guy. That real bomb chew there oftentimes will uh, just blow up in the middle of this cutscene. He might get you if you're too slow, but as long as you're fast enough, he'll, he, won't, he won't hit you. Leave here, and then we need to go get our boss key. Make our way through this little tunnel here. Now, what you're, what you're supposed to do is go back there and fight a little mini-boss, but you don't need to do that. All you need to do is shoot an ice arrow right there, put on your Zora mask, and then jump like that. And you'll, you'll just grab the ledge right there, and grab the boss key. Very, very easy mini-boss skip. And then we can just jump back down like so. Bonk the wall, sure. You can just get back up there, man. Grab some more hearts if we need them. Okay. Now we need to go all the way back up. So, get up here. And climb this ladder. With our ice arrows, we can uh, freeze that waterfall there in the background. Uh, jump off like here, boom. Climb up, and then freeze the waterfall. Climb our way up. Now, in this room, what we need to do is we need to make some platforms to get to that guy. Also, get rid of this tech tie, because he's annoying. Uh, shoot a couple of ice platforms, or you can just shoot one is what you can do. 
and then jump like this. Uh, over here, I wasn't quite close enough. I'm going to shoot another one. One note here is that only Human Link can climb these ice platforms. If you try climbing it as Zora, it's not going to work. Also, these guys are really annoying. Like, very, very annoying. But, uh, just wanted to note that only Human Link can climb these ice platforms. Once you get one close enough, you can just jump up like this. Now, if you don't like making the ice platforms, there is an, is an alternative strat you can do, which I will show real quick. Like, if these guys are just getting too much on your nerves and you don't like doing that, what you can do instead is you can hook shot up, uh, like so. Hook shot this guy, and then jump slash. I missed. Good job, Penny. Go from the side, actually, over here. Shot up, then jump slash, make it up here, and then go over here, hook shot this guy up here, wait a second, and then jump slash recoil off the wall. That'll also work if you don't like uh, using the plat using the uh, ice platforms. Get up here, and we need to make our way back to the original uh, first room. So just ride the ride the guy around. And then pull out our hook shot. And as long as we have all the turn keys pushed, this uh, water jet here on the right will be activated. So we can go over here, jump over, and push this guy. And this guy will activate the uh, reverse water current for the temple. Now we need to go down and turn off the original water flow, like so. And now once that's activated, you're going to want to pull out your Goron mask and void in the water here. This will put you back uh, back here a lot faster than having to climb all the way back up. Then jump down here and go into this hole right here. This room coming up has another difference between English and Japanese. Nice. Try to avoid getting hit by that bomb right there. So this room, what you're supposed to do is freeze the waterfall like so, like this. But the difference between English and Japanese is that on English, the uh, water wheel, no matter where you freeze the water wheel, it will always level out. Also, I did a, did a dumb. Let's, pre let's pretend that didn't happen. On English, when you freeze this waterfall, it will always flatten out to the right spot. Like, no matter what. On Japanese, it will all it'll just slow down and stop wherever it ends up stopping. So you'll notice how it's sort of slanted right here, and this still works. Uh, but just wanted to make a note that on English, it always changes, or it'll always be the same. So for example, let me unfreeze it just to show you guys. So say you freeze it right about now. Well, that's about the right where you need to be, but actually, um, shoot. Let me try it. Let me try again. It's been, it's been a while since I've done this. There's actually some alternative strats you can do to avoid doing this, so I'm not used to doing this anymore. But, um... So let me just let me just do this from right here. So if I freeze it right now, it's gonna be like that, and there's no way you can do that from right there. So you definitely do not want to have it like there. So you have to make sure you time your freezing uh, with the elevator. So this elevator is also not working now either. So you have to time it where 
And the elevator will be up near the top where you can jump over and then also freeze it where it's in a good spot as well. So let me just do that right now. Like that should be, that's a little late. That might work, that's a little bit late though. Let me see if that'll work, just for demonstration purposes. And don't fall off like an idiot, please, come on. Let me just go back over here. This room is actually really troublesome to try to do with uh, arrows. Jump here, and yeah, it looks like this will just barely work, like that. Okay, now, let me show you something else you can do, because that's such a pain in the butt to do. Instead of freezing the water wheel, something I recommend doing instead of this. Uh, nice. Give me some more arrows, please. Thank you. Don't run out of arrows or magic here. That'd be really bad. Magic you can magic you can get from this uh, barrel here. I believe you can get some arrows from these pots here on the ground underneath the water as well if you need some. Uh, that's all magic. Give me some arrows. There, there's some arrows. I knew there was arrows down here. Okay. So instead of freezing the waterfall uh, and going through all that trouble like I just did, instead what you can do is just don't bother freezing it at all and you can jump around because you jump across like this and then wait wait a little bit right here and then just jump that's a lot simpler and a lot easier in my opinion than having to freeze the waterfall I, that's what that's honestly what i recommend doing it's it can be kind of weird to get used to at first and can be a little bit difficult but honestly, I feel like that's a lot simpler and a lot easier to do than trying to freeze the waterfall at the right point, especially if you're on uh, Japanese. If you're on English, you don't have to worry about it too much, but especially if you're on Japanese, I recommend just running across the water wheel like I did, th did there instead of bothering with the waterfall. Now in this room, there's some uh, chews in here with uh, some drops here. If you need some magic or some arrows right here, you can grab these guys. Climb up here, and then what we can do, we can do a little jump here. So if you backflip as Zora, not that, back, I said backflip, and then do a roll jump, jump slash, you can just go straight over here. Uh, that skips having to unfreeze the waterfall there, uh, and what well, going up here. And this guy, you kind of do need to unfreeze. You technically can make the jump from here to this turnkey, but it's a lot more difficult, and I don't recommend doing it for beginners. For that one, I just recommend pulling out your fire arrows and uh, unfreezing the waterfall. Pull this turnkey, and then we can go to this over here. Make sure this guy doesn't knock you off. Climb up. And then what we can do is we can do a side hop like this. Now, if you fall right here, that's okay. Uh, just pull out your hook shot. You can go over to this chest here. Pull out your Zora mask, and then you do backflip, roll jump, and then just climb up like this. And then if you do happen to completely mess up and fall down right here, you can just go over to this guy. and uh, unfreeze the waterfall right here. And that skips having to uh, climb all the way back up. Okay. Now time for gear work. Now if you're, as long as you're fast enough it won't be uh, final hours by now, but um, since I'm going kinda slow for tutorial purposes it is that point but I'll, I'll fix it in just a minute come this way and as long as you've done all the uh, turn keys like you're like I've specified then this last guy will be active and then you can make sure you pull this guy and then if you're fast enough what we can do is we can make the first cycle of this water jet we can do a roll jump, and then roll again, and grab, there we go. 
You know, if you mess up, you can just climb back up and wait for the water jet to be down and jump across like that. But if you're fast enough, you can make that first cycle and it's really good. Now, for Georg, I have a little bit of a funny story to tell while we're in the middle of this cutscene. So when I first played this game as a casual, I did not know about the Zora Magic Barrier, um, which is the ideal way you would fight this guy. So for me, me as a casual fighting this guy, I had to just use Zora Punches, which is very painful, as you might imagine. Uh, but I'm going to show you the, the faster, much better way to fight this guy. Uh, than doing the punches that casual needed. So what you want to do is, as soon as you get down here, take off your Zora mask and just find him and shoot him down. Jump down and then you can do like a swim by, hit him with magic barrier, then get back up out of the water. And rinse and repeat. Boom. Come down, hit him. Back up on the platform. It's really good if you can get good to get good at dolphin diving back up onto the platform. Because if you're not uh, fast enough getting back up on the platform, he'll actually uh, he'll actually eat you, and that'd be that's gonna be really bad. On this third hit, you don't have to worry about getting back up on the platform because this cutscene will happen. And once this cutscene happens, he's in his second phase where he releases his babies. And then get back up on the platform like so. Shoot him again. Get down. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if you're not fast enough. This is what's going to happen. So you, say you bonk like that, and you're trying to get back up on the platform. He'll probably be coming up behind me like that. And uh, he'll either eat you or he'll knock you over. Uh, ideally, that wouldn't happen. Hopefully, you're fast enough for that. But just in case, uh, that is what happens. Where is he? There he is. We kind of use the bubbles to see where he is. Uh, and there's Gork. That was pretty fast, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do the fight one more time just to show you guys. This is a tutorial, and I do want to show a bunch of stuff, so let me do it one more time. Oh, roll, please, thank you. Okay, just like last time, we want to grab some arrows, make sure we have arrows. Shoot them down. Shoot them down. Oh, something I could mention also, uh, while uh, it's very important here. So another English and Japanese difference is that on English you can use the magic barrier whenever, but here on the Japanese version you either have to be completely at a standstill like this, or you have to be swimming at full speed in order to use the magic barrier. Uh, so for example, shoot him down, like, uh, I can use it now while I'm swimming, but if I'm not doing that, like pressing the R button here does nothing. On the English version, pressing the R button there would actually activate the magic barrier. But on Japanese, it does not. So, I just wanted to make that note, because that is very important. Especially for this boss fight. So I'm by, hit him. Second phase. See, that's what happens if you're not fast enough. He'll come up and eat you, and he takes you, he takes like two hearts off of you, so it's really, really bad. Also, nice. I'm not really sure why he knocked me up on the platform. I've never had that happen before, but <laughs> that's funny. Nice, good job. Shoot, shoot, shoot him, shoot him. Come on. Thank you. He can be kind of a kind of a pain to shoot sometimes. Get him. And back up. Ah! Back. Bad, 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 bad. That's another reason why I suggested getting the fairy. Because this guy can be. can be very annoying, and you can die to him, and it's very, very bad. Come on, dude. Get over here. 
Where are you? Uh, one thing I should mention, if you're not fast enough, he's going to charge the pillar like this. And he might knock you into the water, and that's going to be very bad. So just try not to let that happen. Oh, get rid of the babies. And now he's dead. Another thing he'll do is, if you're too slow, is he'll actually jump over the, uh, the arena there. Uh, so just keep in mind that that can happen if you're too slow. Ideally, you would just find him, target him, and shoot him down before he gets a chance to do that. But uh, I just wanted to make a note that that does happen. You can grab the heart container here if you'd like, uh, for safety for Majora. And then grab our remains. And that's Georg. And once Georg is dead, you just want to soar to Akana. So we have some uh, unfinished business in Akana, namely Stone Tower, which is our final dungeon, so just make our way over there.